Okay, we'd like to welcome you back to our current event and weekly Bible study for August 22nd, 2010. This next article is Shocking UN Efforts to Undermine Youth Morals. Again, we just keep reporting over and over and over on the UN. And again, I think this is where a lot of our prayers need to be directed, toward the United Nations. I mean, why not just go to the very top? You know, I understand we, we battle not against flesh and blood, but against princes and principalities, rulers of wickedness, these types of things. But these are, the UN is one of the chief organizations which these princes and principalities and rulers of wickedness emanate and operate through. So, uh, it says, During the last week, a well-respected leader in the pro-family movement, movement, Terrence McKeegan, vice president and senior counsel for CFAM, shared with me his research about the UN's latest efforts to attack the moral foundation of families and children. In the last week, a major youth conference was held in Mexico, which was aimed at creating a new declaration for youth to be enacted by the UN General Assembly in connection with an international year for youth. See, Satan wants the children. He wants the children. Because if he can have that generation, he knows they're going to grow up. And if they're... if if they serve him when they're young, there's a much higher likelihood they're going to serve him when they're old. And then when they get older, they're going to operate, you know, obviously go into positions of power and these types of things later in their life. So he's always trying to get the youth. One of the things called for in proposition in the proposed resolution is full access for all youth to universal access to reproductive health. These words are loaded with hidden meanings. However, McKeegan has unmasked these hidden meanings by gathering copies of UN brochures that are distributed at its youth conference in March, uh, March of 2010. You can actually click here to look at the actual sections of these brochures. The content of this material, and there's a link you can click on uh, in the PDF associated with this teaching on contendingfortruth.com. The content of this material is shocking. It is not pornographic, but the behavior that it is encouraging is lewdness, and immorality personified. I would strongly suggest that only parents look at this material. Here are just a few examples of these brochures, of these UN brochures. Young people living with HIV have the right to sexual pleasure. Yeah. Go out and infect everyone else. That's what we want to do, right? I mean, hey, they've got, they've got rights. Who cares about anyone else's rights? Some people, this is another point, some people have sex when they have been drinking alcohol or using drugs. This is your choice. I mean, they're really, it's really a pro-abstinence type of thing, you know. And then, their next point, there is no right or wrong way to have sex. Just have fun, explore, and be yourself. What does the UN have anything, why would they be doing this garbage? They're just trying to defile humanity. That's what Satan wants to do. He just wants to defile humanity any possible way he can do it. And this is what he's using the UN to do. Next, next point. Sexual and reproductive rights are recognized around the world as human rights. Yeah, that would include abortion. So, you know, you have a right to kill your unborn baby because what right does that baby have, right? I mean, that's exa it's exactly what they're, they're, this garbage that they're trying to put forth. Okay, so then it says this goes on to say, now you know the kinds of ideas that are offered when the UN calls for safe sex education and awareness raising activities among adolescents. Uh, there is already a political movement in the United States to offer these egregious forms of sex education without parental consent or review. But if the UN Convention on, right, on the Rights of a Child is adopted in the U.S., then the debate is over. We would be required to implement this kind of adolescent health education dictated by the UN. So if America adopts this UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, I mean, you can't keep up with this stuff. They're trying to, they're trying to destroy us so many different ways and defile us so many different ways and intrude on our rights in so many different ways. I can't hardly keep up with it. I would need a show like Alex Jones to keep up with it anymore. I just try to do my best on a week-to-week -week basis to kind of hit the high points anymore. But yes, this is one other thing. The U.S. Convention on the Rights of the Child. We must preserve our families. We must preserve common sense and morality. We must preserve American self-government. If you have already joined our efforts to stop the U.N. Convention on the Rights of a Child, thank you so much. Would you continue to share this information with your friends as we build toward the next session in Congress? 
you have not joined us, click here and do so today. And this is all free. Every single link that I've put up here is free. You can you can click on this link to sign the petition against this thing, and then also they have weekly newsletter uh, alerts. Uh, there's some other links you can click on as well. Through activist courts and the threat of ratifying the UN's Convention on the Rights of a Child, big government intrudes on families more and more. Already, the liberty of parents to direct their upbringing of their children has greatly eroded in the federal courts and in such settings as public schools, local libraries, and at your doctor's office. The traditional rights of parents to make decisions for their children, absent abuse or neglect, is now substantially diminished at the federal level, and its demise is trickling down to the states, only an amendment to add this liberty to the text of the U.S. Constitution can give back our families the legal protections they deserve. Again, then there's a link you can click on. Click here to stop big government takeover of the family by supporting Senate Resolution 519, which opposes ratifying the CRC, uh, the UN's Convention of Rights of the Child, and the Parental Rights Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Now, this particular teaching we're doing today, there's a lot of proactive stuff I'm putting in there. Like last week, we covered a lot of the health issue stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of trying to cover a lot of similar issues whenever we can do that.